If you have friends telling you that you have too many pen pouches, those are not your people. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is inside my Delphonics pen pouch. Um, you guys have probably seen, if you're following me over on Instagram, if you're not, you should be. Um, <laughs> Anyway, this has been a love of mine. I've included it in several of my pictures over on Instagram and I love this thing. This is actually my second Delphonics pouch. I absolutely love it. It comes with so many pockets and I have been dying to share with you guys how I keep mine organized, what I keep inside of it and all of those things. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's take a look. All right, so here it is. This is the Delphonics utility pouch. You can see it has like the little um, tag from the company on the outside here. Um, I got this in the medium size and in the color yellow, obviously, from Amazon. At the time of filming this, it is approximately $32 on Amazon. The price does vary sometimes. This is definitely not an inexpensive um, planner pouch or stationary pouch you can pretty much use it for anything but for me it's for um, planning tools accessories things like that um, but for me it was absolutely worth it just because of all of the different compartments and things like that and I just love it and I love adding pins to the outside of mine um, I think all of the pins that I have on here are from inclusive randomness I'll try to make sure to link her shop down in the description of this video I absolutely love these um, and I've had them on various pouches of mine and I think that they look great on this pouch so let's go ahead and get started with the outside compartments so um, you have these large pockets right here on either side as far as the back front pockets go, and that is where I keep some of my mild liners and my Sharpie S note markers. I'll be honest, these Sharpie S note markers are not my favorite. I know that they're new to the market and kind of like all the rage right now, they are not my favorite. They are not bleed through or anything like that. I use them when I'm taking very random notes um, where I'm not really worried about the paper or something bleeding through. I definitely don't use these in my planner. I do have like a full um, review and like color swatch of these on my channel and I'll be sure to link that video as well. Again, they're great because of the variety of colors that they come in, but not my favorite for practical uses. So that's what's on these front two pockets right here. These, there's, so there's two more smaller pockets right here and then some longer pockets for pens. In these, I don't keep anything because I have pins and it's just kind of weird to take things in and out and I don't want to poke myself in case one of the pins comes undone. And then I just have a binder clip here. I think binder clips come in handy, so yeah. And the front, I kind of keep the pens and pencils that I use most. Yes, sometimes I do use pencils. So in this section right here, I have my Micron 05. I actually use 03 more often, so I'm not sure how the 05 snuck in here. Um, I do have an EC um, pencil, and I cannot get this back in here. There we go. I do have an EC pencil. I actually really like their pencils. I have the three colors. I think they only have three colors that they, um, have on their website and this one is it's my favorite color so it's the one that I use the most and then I also have a Pilot G2 in white these are super fun to write with on like black post-its or if you have those black paper notebooks those are fun to write with the G2 isn't the best when it comes to white ink I actually think the Uniball Signo is a much better white pen option in case you are looking for one they do sell these at Michaels in packs of three so you can get it with the black gold and white um, I think this is the best white pen on the market and then of course my favorite right now is the Sharpie S gel pen and I keep that in the front as well. All right, let's check out the back. It's almost like all the bright colors are up here and all the past pastel colors are on the back. But back here I have my um, Stabilo highlighters. Honestly, I just got these a couple of days ago. I have seen these everywhere and I've never once owned a pack of Stabilo highlighters in my life and I thought I'd try them out. I'm still kind of on the fence with these but I just grabbed the pastel color because I knew I had so many other brighter colors of highlighters and I just popped them back here in this back pocket. This one is actually Velcro so it opens up to be a very large pocket 
However, I have found that when putting like a small notebook or anything, they're all a little bit too um, tall and that would cover up the Velcro part and it wouldn't close and things would fall out. So I just kind of use it like two separate pouches right here, if that makes sense. There's also more pockets as if there couldn't be enough outside pockets on this thing right here. And honestly, I just haven't thought of anything to put in there. To be quite honest, I don't know. I have enough things. <laughs> I also have these markers from Avery. These are pretty cool, except I have to remind myself that they are permanent. I've tried them out in my planner and they bleed through just like any permanent marker. So they kind of just stay on this side. This side is kind of like my new or not as quite as often used pens and markers and highlighters, but I do like the way that they look in the pouch, honestly. All right, let's get into the inside. All right, there, there's a there's a lot in here. So. <laughs> and of course, there's more pockets. And I'll kind of show you it completely empty as well. So on this side, I actually keep my HP Sprocket. This is how I print photos in my planner. I've had this thing for a couple of years, no issues so far with it, except I think when it dies, I think I'm gonna get the Canon version of this because I hear that that one prints a little bit better. So I think I might give that a try. And because I have that in this side of the pouch on the opposite, side I actually keep some of the additional printer paper for it because I feel like I fly through paper pretty fast these do come in packs of 10 on Amazon you can get larger packs where it's like four or five to ten even more of these so that you can buy them in bulk but I always like to have an extra pack with me even if I've just refilled it so that's what goes there I'm just gonna take everything out <laughs> Um, I kind of keep a little notebook in here. I think I just replaced, yeah, I had to double check, make sure I didn't write anything personal in here. But I just have this small Emily Lay notebook. I actually just replaced the one that was in there because it had a lot of passwords and things like that written down. Um, just a small one that I could kind of tuck in here in case I need to jot something down, but I didn't want to lose it if I wrote it like on a post-it or something. So that's what I keep in here. I think this notebook is just a tiny like five by seven size. I don't know if on the inside. The size is written, but it's fairly small. It's not a full size notebook, obviously. All right, next up, I actually just found these in my stash. These are some Once More With Love sticker books from Michaels. I completely forgot that I purchased these and the size was perfect to put in my um, pouch here because I like to have some stickers with me, not a ton, but having a few here and there and I thought these would be fun to have with me for on the go. So I popped those in there as well. All right, next up, I mean, of course I have washi. I just have a ring. You can find these pretty much anywhere. Michael's, even Office Depot sells these in like a, a container with a bunch of them, but these are great for keeping um, types of washi together. So for me, I kept like all of my colorful rolls together and I thought that they'd be good to have in my pouch because sometimes when I just need a random roll, it's normally something that's colorful and not color specific, if that makes sense. So there's that. And it keeps them all together in the bag so that they're not flying all over the place. I have also seen people take their washi hooks and as I lose a roll of washi and hook them on this loop outside of the bag. I think that this washi loop is a little bit too big and bulky, but you can just do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, what else do I have in here? I have my painter's knife. I actually have a couple of these, so I keep one on my um, planner cart and um, one in my pouch with me because a lot of times if I'm thinking that I need to take stuff with me, I just grab this and throw this in my work bag and then I know I pretty much have an arsenal of planner supplies with me. Next up is this washi cutter. I think we actually got this at Go Wild one year. It's by the crafterdepot.com. I don't know anything about that brand, um, but this is kind of fun for cutting washi. Um, it's nice to have, and sometimes you can see I stick the leftovers of washi to this. All right, next up I have a Tombow Whiteout. I like this one a lot. I ran out of like my standard Bic Whiteout that you can find pretty much anywhere, Walmart, Amazon, Target, all of that. And I had this and I just popped it in my bag really quick because I do use Whiteout in my planner. All right, next up is a, ooh, a binder clip. I think I got this from the Target dollar spot. I'm not entirely sure. All right, next up are these last two pockets over here. And here I have, ooh, my tweezers and the cap to my cutter, which should really sit on there. All right, so I have these tweezers. They're like crafting tweezers. These are from, where is this from, Eek Tools? 
yes, Eek Tools. It's kind of blind imprinted on there, but um, these are very, very sharp. I'm not so sure that I'm, I'm a big fan of these. I just got these, not entirely sure, but they're fun to have in case you need them. Um, I have these scissors that came in a previous um, Erin Condren seasonal surprise box. I actually like these. I also have some from Simply Gilded. They had them... They had them in their um, subscription one month, so I actually like having several of these. It's kind of nice to have scissors around that you know aren't gonna poke a hole in your bag. That's cool. I also have this cutting tool from Slice. Um, I got this from Amazon a while back. Not a huge fan because as you can see, the cap doesn't stay on very well. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in my bag. Plus I think I have a few other things that can help me out in case I need to cut things. and. This kind of makes me really nervous that it just keeps popping off like that. So I, I like it. I might even consider getting another one just to see if maybe something happened with my cap and that's why it doesn't stay on, but I really do like this. All right, next up is just a bunch of post-its. Oh my God, are there more down there? No, okay. So I just keep different types of post-its with me. I have some black ones, green ones. I like this size for my planner because it fits like the vertical columns and then just some from EC. If you saw my office tour video, I have like a hundred of these. <laughs> they are one of my favorites. I love them. All right, and then here is just like an empty view of the inside of the pouch. There's so much room in here. I love this. I know it's a pricey um, planner pouch, but I think it's totally worth it. It does come in other colors. I think there's like a pinstripe blue, a denim. I have the denim. It's orange inside. It's okay. It's not my favorite color combination, and I can't remember the other color they have. It does also come in a small, I believe. I've never seen that one in person. I only know of the medium size because that's the one that I got in the denim color um, and I knew that I wanted it in this yellow because I, I just love yellow so much. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I didn't mention where something's from or you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. I do post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video.